Yo, yo, what's up, Life of JT? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm real good. What up, what up? What up, gang? This is Soldier Joe. Chris Atkins. What's that, everybody? What's up, Jordan? Joanne? Chicks, not even enjoying this weather. I'm chilling actually. I, I was watching Jay over there, man, and I was actually supposed to go down to North Carolina, man, this weekend, but we will come out here hang with the kids and stuff. Mom, can't hear me. Can't hear me. The uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, late nights with the blue collar king. <laughs> Hopefully, next week, man. Hopefully, this is my last week. Oh, sorry. Is that better? Can you hear me? Thanks, shit. Much love. Salute to the homie Jay Williams. Of course, down there during the three-day weekend. I was thinking about, I came outside to smoke, right? And this shit reminded me of a story. Um, and just, you know how like sometimes you, certain sounds or certain smells or certain whatever reminds you of a, a past experience. And although I'm chilling on a nice low vibe, this was a night that was exactly like this. It was a summer of like 97. It's right before I went to prison the first time. And um, I was kind of like bouncing around from like apartment to apartment or whatever, man. Now I'm at the crib. <clears throat> and um, it's a small, shitty apartment, man. It's a place called Prince William Apartments in Fredericksburg. And um, we were selling dope out of this apartment. And a buddy of mine was making this stuff, this like bathtub crank or whatever, man, whatever he was making, man. I hadn't had much experience with that shit, but I remember, it's like a two-part story. So we met, we met this chick, right, this chick named Star. Beautiful. I mean, fucking gorgeous. And, um... Of course, big lance with the morning wood. Eh? <laughs> the lance, and I started smashing, whatever, man. And um, she was like, she had just like ran away from home. She had just turned 18, blah, blah, blah. Um, her dad was in the military. Hold on. That should have fixed it. So her dad was in the military. And um, she was like, yo, um, my, I know my parents got some like jewelry or whatever. Anyway, she wanted us to break into her house, but she had the key. I was like, cool. So we shoot over there one day, right? And we go up in the house, whatever, we're searching, we're running through shit. I go into, I'm, I'm the first one into the parents' bedroom. I'm thinking to myself, I know my pops. 
keeps all his shit in his sock drawer. Anything that's worth anything to my pops, he kept in his sock drawer. First place I went, score. Found me a thousand dollars cash in a Ruger. Remember them old long fucking barrel style Rugers, right? Score. So, when um, we leave or whatever, man, and blah, blah, blah. So, about, I'd say a week goes by, and Star wants to go home. She's like, I talked to my parents, they're gonna meet me at such and such, at this, at this uh, giant foods right beside um, uh, the Spotsylvania Mall, which is right across from the mall. Anyway, I'm like, cool, I'll run you up there. Kind of felt weird because she was acting strange. I was like, damn, one of this chick is setting me up, right? She swore it down, she wasn't. Anyway, blah, blah. I go out and, and like stand with her in front of the shopping center, right? And <laughs> she, all of a sudden, man, like out of nowhere, this fool runs up on me with some fucking nunchucks, right? I mean, nunchucks, bro. And I mean, I'm only a kid myself. I'm only like 17 at the time. He puts me up against the wall <laughs> and pulls these damn nunchucks out. And I'm like, what the fuck? So like, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like, where's the gun, motherfucker? Where's the gun? I'm like, what gun, bro? I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, no, you got my gun. Whatever, fool. I ain't got your fucking gun. They couldn't really get me for being e because she let me in the door. Couldn't prove I stole shit. What's up, baby? What's up, Rick? Making prison stories. Um, hey, what's up, Australian prison stories? Appreciate you, man. So, I tell her, I'm like, bro, I ain't got your gun. Da, da, da. He takes his, his daughter, whatever, man. That was the last I ever saw her. Well, I go back to the apartment, right? And I fucking chucked the gun, got rid of it ASAP. I just had a feeling the cops were coming. Homies were like, bro, they're not worried, they're not worried about that shit. They're, they're. Well, well, I'm worried about it, so I'm gonna get rid of it, right? Boom, so we're sitting there, and it was like, fuck, man, like two or three o'clock in the morning. I'll never forget it. And anybody that's ever been raided, right? Is it's it's a sick feeling, man. But so, 2 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm in the kitchen. And I can't remember, I remember like I was making something to eat or something. I don't remember, but I heard like the, the, the initial noise, right? What's up, Bigfoot? So when I heard the initial noise, I hear the fucking police department. Boom, and the fucking door was flying off. I mean, not just flying over, flying off the guys, the dang hinges. Well, the way the apartment was set up, is like, you, you come in, and like, it's like a wall, and there's a kitchen, and then like the rest of the apartment right there, but the kitchen was kind of hidden behind this wall. So, I, I like, cut myself in and made myself small, bro, and they literally go straight to the back. Like, they kind of, I'm sure they looked in the kitchen, but they didn't see me because I was in between the wall and the refrigerator, right? And so, <laughs> as I'm standing there, man, I hear him. And like I told you, my homeboy was making all that meds and shit, man. And nasty, nasty stuff, bro. So he's all twacked out. He'd be up for like days, bro. Days and days. And this is no different. He was up for a long time. And um, they're like, put the fucking gun down. Put the fucking gun down. Da -da -da. I'm like. I didn't know this fool had a gun. I hear it pop, and I hear it. Like just, whoa. Right at that time, I knew shit was legit serious, bro. What's up, William? And so I just kind of like lay down. I don't, uh, I don't like announce myself or nothing. I just lay on the floor. My hands behind my head. Like, I don't want to die, right? So they, they searched the house, they, they, 
They lock us all up. There's a bunch of us, probably like five or six dudes in this apartment. They take us down to the police station, trying to kind of like figure out who's gonna be responsible for what. Well, turns out, crazy fucking part about this whole, um, that's beautiful, man, beautiful out here tonight. Crazy part about this whole story was, when they, when they brought in like all the evidence and shit like that, trying to prove this that, the gun that, you know, was that same gun. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Am I high, dude? Get off live? No, I'm not high. Who is that, man? Yeah. We'll get y'all out of here, buddy. Go to PC, buddy. Holla. Thank you, Michelle. Appreciate that. But... It was just a crazy story, man. <laughs> you going to PC, man. What's that, your cash app right there? A special person in my family need a dryer. I'm a single mom. William and Ariana's mom. Man, I'm trying to find your the cash out that you just posted. William and Ariana's mom. Hey, what's up doing time, big weavy? I'll go on there, um Hey, what's up, Rob? He loves me, man. Rob loves me, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I think all this, all this hating on me is bullshit. I think he's got a big old, big Lance off the yard fat head on his wall, man. And uh, um, oh, thank you, much love, uh, Top Trooper Shawnee. Thank you very much. Uh, I think he's got a bunch of uh, big Lance merch. He's rocking the hat. <laughs> we love Rob around here, man. <laughs> we love Rob. Hey, Rob, man. Enjoy your Saturday. Hey, hey, Rob, you from Guinea? I, I bet you're from Guinea. <laughs> Big man, bad at doing a pose, like the Heisman pose. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Yeah, Cuzzo. Cuzzo cool, man. We had a good time. Hey, man. Y'all support us. I support y'all, man. That's how it goes. We're all just people, man. I'm all just people. Man, I'm a mosquito. Kill me. Oh, it's good to be at the house. Appreciate that, Yogi. Much love, man. What's up, Nesbitt? Robbing them? Y'all try to get back on there, Michelle. See if I can't help you out. I gotta look up, you know, what I got on my cash app. There's a war machine, the MMA fighter. Hell yeah, bro. Isn't he the one that was dating the porn star? We beat the dude up real bad or something like that. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Shout out to Vegas Prison Stories, man. No doubt. Steve, uh, Steven Strangles, man, if you ever want to watch some good MMA content, bro, that's the dude. That's the dude to watch. Strangle Gang. I'm definitely part of the Strangle Gang. Yep. Christy Mack. Yeah. Christy Mack is bad, bro.
Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna try to send you something over, behind. Like I said, whatever you get, go over to like Goodwill, man. At least get you something. We just gave one away too, man. I won't really do much good. I mean, we're in Virginia. Yeah, I didn't forget about you. It's just came over here and spent time with the fam. I'm like seeing Jay Wills out there uh, at the beach. That's good, man. I'm good. I'm excellent, actually, bro. Her ass is banging. She knows how to use it. <laughs> Bang on the guitar. Shit. You trying to get me back in, stuck in a motel, ain't you? <laughs> I am gonna do. I'm gonna do probably like three videos like tomorrow, though, man. It's time. To, I need to drop some content other than lives. So, but I don't have Wi-Fi, so take advantage. I'm gonna be here all weekend. I hope, you know, God willing. So, but I want to drop in and just, you know, always, as always, show my gratitude to to, to you guys and, you know. To the real ones. Thank you very much for the donations to the Super Chats. Helps me out a lot. You know what I'm saying? Have I done Simple Man? I've been playing guitar for 30 years. Yes, I've done Simple Man. <laughs> yeah, the life of JT, man. Yeah, I've seen his stuff before, man. What's up, TNT? I am too, man. I got... Uh, Spent the, the night watching movies with Bryce, and um, I was actually getting ready to go lay it down, have me some ice cream, enjoy myself. I oh, you need that? All right, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do one tomorrow. Big JD is back. Oh, um, from um, the other prison channel? That pretty much was the end of the story. I mean, it was, you know, they... You know, obviously linked a couple of all of us together and, um, you know, it was just coincidence, man. He had, he had basically gone in the woods and, and, and grabbed it when I chucked it. I'm the only YouTuber that watch prison content and never records about prison. <laughs> I don't know, you'd be surprised, man, at how many people... How many like different um, vloggers and YouTubers watch these prison shows? Okay, Big Weeby, I'm gonna go check them out. Absolutely. Hold on one second, guys. Let me see if I can help Michelle out real quick. What's the cash app again? That'd be cool, man. I'll do a jam session. Michelle, put the, um... Put the cash up one more time. doing a comparison video about Goldburn Prison, which was called the Killing Fields in the 90s in MSP, Missouri State Penitentiary as Harvey. That's pretty cool. Okay, William and Ariana's mom. Uh, I'm not putting that capital in. Okay, hold on. Is it? Oh, much love, Michael. Thank you, Michael's Auto Repair. Much love, man. Is it under Robin? All right, Shawnee, good night, sweetheart. Thank you again. Salute. Much love, brother. I appreciate you, man. Michael's been around for a while. 
Y'all check out Vegas Prison Stories, man, with Rick. And check out Big Weavy. I think I got you, hon. Hold on one second. All right, hon. Check out Australian Prison Stories, definitely. Y'all go check these channels out, man. This is the future. Send something over there. I hope that was the right uh, cash app, honey. Right? Hopefully, you get enough to help you, you and your family out. If I could interview one person, who would it be? One person, like a, um, like alive. Because <laughs> if I could interview one person. There's so many people. I think that um, an interview with Jesus would be cool. <laughs> How about this one alive? Okay, one alive uh, would be Struggle Jennings. I like to get struggle. Um... I just actually talked to OT the real man, he's a rapper from Boston. We we out in Philly and shit. Yes, ma'am. Hope it helps and hope you can uh, get that situation take care of, man. Thank you, Michael Smith. Glad to have you, man. Welcome to the Gladiator Gang. And somebody deceased. I would say uh Yeah, OT's a beast, bro. I think it'd be cool to interview Man, there's so many. I would have liked to sat down with Manson. Like in person though. Just, I wrote Manson when he was alive, I wrote him a few times. We wrote each other, we corresponded. <clears throat> um Charlie's a wild dude, man, was a wild dude. Tupac, fuck yeah, dude. Tupac would be a cool interview. Um, there's so many people out there. Einstein. Hey, what's up, Mr. Cali Boys? I'm gonna check out Cali Boys' page, man. He's got some good music on there. Yes, man, of course. The Hansons. <laughs> the Menendez brothers. I'm gonna start doing, um, I've actually been doing some research and I'm starting to really get into like, I wanna go back in history and start doing these um, like speak over videos um, on like old serial killers. You know, I'm going all the way back to like the first documented serial killer, which was H.H. H. Holmes. And I wanna, I know it's been done, but it ain't been done my way. Mm, bop, big bop, Elon Musk. Hey, Steve Little, you're in here with the ideas, bro. That's why, like, I, I love Joe Rogan, man. I watch Joe Ro Rogan a lot, and I would like to do uh, Theo Vaughn, too. i like to interview Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn's a funny motherfucker, man. But Joe Rogan's a beast, bro. Oh, man, thank you, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna be on long. I just wanted to come on real quick and oh, you know, Jay's my Jay's my fucking homeboy. He's out there living his best life. You know what I mean? Theo Vaughn can sing. I didn't know that. What's your number one advice for a woman trying to protect herself from getting manipulated, taken advantage by an alpha male? I mean, just because the dude's alpha doesn't mean he's trying to manipulate you. All right, Weeby, have a good night, brother. By far my favorite comedian. That's a funny dude, man. Now I'm still in my town. We in Alaska. 
We had this guy named Jason Abbott. Smoked this one because they were wearing the color orange. Jesus Christ. Remind me to go trick or treating around that dude. <laughs> but, yeah, Jay's got a fucking monster following, bro. Monster following. I might check into that, bro. I appreciate it, man. It's just I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to do it. And um, appreciate that GMO respects from L.A. Joey Diaz is one of the funniest. Joey Diaz is funny. But, yeah, man, look. Just want to drop in and say what's up. Anybody that... Uh, Jumped over here, jump back over, go see Jay. He's probably still walking the block. <laughs> it is overwhelming. So I ain't like, you know, people get upset and mad and stuff because he, he might not see their comment, but bro, sometimes I don't see y'all's comments. I, I have a hundred people, so I can't imagine adding four or five hundred more of that. So, cutting some slack, man. He's doing his best. And half the time, he's just talking, you know? Yeah, bro. I went live on TikTok one time, and within minutes, bro, I had like 5,000 people there. I was like, dude, this is too much. Too much, bro. Yes, sir. I'm getting ready to hit the hay myself, bro. All right, Dwayne. What's up, Dwayne? Welcome, welcome. Hit that like, like, like a green light of chum. <laughs> TikTok's insane, bro. A lot of, lot of chicks, though. A lot of just nasty women on there. They're nasty. I appreciate that, Dwayne Randall. Much love, bro. Yeah, they're nasty. Like, I thought I thought dudes were nasty. Women are nasty. <laughs> they're nasty. I had to fall back from that shit, bro. Bill the Butcher. Yeah, absolutely. That's my guy, man. All right, Bigfoot. Last call. Let's go. Tony Marion, thank you, man. Welcome to the Gladiator Gang, man. Ain't no doubt, baby. To the casket drop. See you little. Y'all have a good night, man. Salute. And, uh, hey, I'm going I'm to do something more, man. I'll probably go live before I drop some videos, man. But I'm going to go back in and kick it with the wife for a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some cuddling in. As always, man, stay up, stay out. <clears throat> stay sucker free. Two L's and nothing. Bulletproof all, man. Love y'all. Get some rest. Get some sleep. You need your eight hours. We talked about that this morning. All right, man. Hey, bye, Rob. Fuck you, Rob. <laughs>